is Lynn Cagle. I teach German in the Department of Modern Language Studies at Lycoming College. My name is Andrew Stafford. I'm an assistant professor of French at Lycoming College in the Modern Language Studies Department. Hello, my name is Hannah Cheres. I'm a senior and a Spanish major here at Lycoming College. The Department of Modern Language Studies is one of the smaller departments. We have very small class sizes. Faculty get to know the students very well. We develop very close mentoring relationships with students and those relationships carry on in most cases long after the student has completed the program. Um, part of the mentoring that we do is preparing them for study abroad. We really encourage all of our students to study abroad. So we work really hands-on with them to get their applications in, um, any visa stuff that they have to do. Um, we also offer tons of research and grant opportunities. Uh, I personally have worked with a student um, using summer research grant funds that are offered by our school to work on um, language research that we're hoping to turn into a publication. I just really like that it was small because it made me feel like I could have a deeper connection with my classmates and especially with my professors and I have been able to do that. I know a lot of my professors and I'm able to just go to them and talk to them which was one of the most important things for me when choosing a college. Our students go on to do all kinds of things. Uh, some of them go to graduate study, some of them um, go to work for um, the government in one capacity or another. A number of our students, uh, for various reasons, decide to go back to the country in which they first studied French, Spanish, or German and uh, stay there and work there, study there for a while. And that's certainly been true of a number of my students. They go to Germany to study again, to get another degree. Um, sometimes they meet their uh, future life partner in Germany while they're studying abroad and they go back to be with that person. Uh, sometimes they go back because they uh, decide that they would actually prefer to pursue a career in Germany and we think that's great too. So the beauty of studying a language, which I think some people might not realize, is that you can really focus on any aspect of identity, of culture, um, that really interests you. We have a lot of students that are double majors um, or have a different minor and they always find ways to combine their other uh, fields of interest with their language study. Often this happens in our capstone project which is for our majors where they do a graduate level research project so that's a great gateway into grad school if that's the path that they choose. Recently this summer I was able to do a summer research program with my professor Sandra Kingery where I translated my third book and that was the most one-on-one -on -one experience. We did it through Zoom and it just kind of goes to show just how um, how good of a relationship I've been able to build with my professors that they just want to work on like my own little passion project with me. It's a much more valuable thing than most people realize to have an established relationship with another culture. Doing that in another language says that you are not afraid to go out and be uncomfortable <laughs> and to make mistakes. But more than that, it's an opportunity to develop relationships, to develop a network in another culture that might prove useful to you later in life. And it also gives you another perspective from which to view your own culture. So there are so many ways in which majoring in a language is a very, very good thing for anybody. But just in terms of plain transferable skills, I mean, they're, they're countless. All the things that you learn to do when you decide that you're going to go spend some time in another culture and you're going to learn another language that you can transfer to other aspects of your life, uh, it's immense.